Yo, yo, yo. Well, go on, people. Back again, episode four. Back by popular demand. And as you can see, where we are. I don't know if you can actually see that. But you might have noticed from the thumbnail. We're in TPL. Borough of Haringey, North London. Spread over N15 and N8. That's the infamous Costa everyone's always asking about. Just spinning the hole. As you can see, very busy block here and that's Duckett's Common. So yeah, we're just gonna have a quick chat about the TPL gang. Um, let's take a little walk into Duckett's Common really quickly. There's a lot of people outside as you can see. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky. But yeah, so we're in TP today, Kirk High Plane. We'll talk about the TPL gang, um, which is spread over two sets. We got the N8 DC8, aka the Mali set, and we got the N22 slash N15 OTP slash Smoke Squad set. Um, yeah, that's the gang. It's two sets in this area. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about a couple of significant. As you know, a couple of significant um, incidents that might have happened. So, Duckett's Common, which is this park, it's known as a regular chill spot for, I think, the DC8 side. Um, that consists of, obviously, the rappers that you might know, H, um, Omiz, TD, those guys. They're known as sort of the Somali side of, of Turnpike, but... Um, I don't believe they're exclusively Somali. I think it's quite mixed in their gang. And then you've got the other side, the OTP Smoke Squad side. Um, and they're mainly sort of Albanian. Well, they're known for being mainly Albanian. But again, I know they're quite mixed as well. I think they've got some Colombians and other races in their, in their gang. So, yeah. Today might be... It was a little bit difficult sort of researching this one. Um, I couldn't find sort of many... Uh, incidents that have happened confirmed against Turnpike Lane or either set but I found uh, a couple of murders of that were sort of linked to them that we can talk about um, a couple of murders of civilians one actually in this park or, or really close to this park yeah so as you can see, Turnpike Lane, very, very busy area. I, can't, I know you can't see behind the bushes there, but it's a very busy area. And yeah, so the Somali set was is known to be the original set, apparently. Um, I think they were started off as the Young Militant Somalis around approximately 2004. Um, as you can see, there's just a couple of sort of, quite a big park, actually. I didn't think it was going to be that big, but you've got some basketball courts, kids play area, um, and a big green you can just play football on or do whatever it's actually a really really nice area i didn't think it was going to be that nice because parts of tottenham are horrible and this isn't too far um but it's actually really nice there's houses around here that are definitely over a million kind of like camden actually but yeah this is Haringey borough so north london um so yeah where was i so yeah the somali set started off as is actually known as the original one um they started off as the young militant somalis and started off in approximately 2004 members um as I said, the members of that uh, DC8 and 8 side are TD, Omiz and H, aka Hamza. Um, his name gets floated around in the, in the news all the time. So, uh, so well, in the drill news anyway. Um, the, Albo, the Albanian set was previously known as Real Albanian Gangsters and they had a few different other names. Um, so the main, I'll go through the main allies and ops of each set. Um, so and they sort of don't get along with each other, the 8 set and the 15 set. Um, and the 8 set has the allies NPK, so the Northumberland Park Killers, um, AP, Albany Park in Enfield, and N Gang in Norfolk, and actually AG. So the last episode I did on Active Gang, that's apparently one of their allies. Um, and the ops are OFB, so the farm boys, some of the biggest rappers in the drill scene at the moment, Hedy Oran, RV. Band OK, Double L's, and the whole gang there. Um, 
and the beef in NP, N, sorry, yeah, sorry, not yeah, and the beef in N15, um, that South Tottenham K1 Shambo, um, the beef in Vilside Hornsey, which is literally down the road, and that's where most stack is from. So the name Vilside might ring a bell. Um, and they beef Hox, the Hoxton boys from Hackney, which is actually not too far as well. Um, yeah, and uh, so the 15 set, they're allied with the with Wood Green, the two twos, 22s, um, three by three, so that's rappers like E1, uh, and they're from Edmonton, and the nine boys from Edmonton are, are their allies as well. And their enemies are, again, OFB, NPK, N15, and the Hoxton boys. Um, so yeah, this is Dr. Stoneman, as I said. Well, took, this is basically the one of the main sort spot chill spots for the eighth set. I know they took chill here quite a lot, um, and we're going to talk about the first murder actually. So we're in the perfect spot. So uh, yeah, we'll just take a little walk down the park. As you can see, it's really busy, so we might get a few couple of stairs. But as long as you guys enjoy, you get us in it. <laughs> so yeah, um, talk about the first murder, um, the murder of Edmund Januzzi, who's a Albanian guy. I think he was 38 years old at the time that he got murdered. It happened on June the 9th, 2018. Um, and it happened actually in this park or, or, or in the vicinity of this park. So um, Edmund and his brother had, had dinner quite close by um, and they were walking through and they came to Duckett's Common. I think they were approached by someone. I think it was a member of the, he might be a member of the N8 crew. And um, they asked him if he wanted to buy some drugs and, and he basically declined. Um, they got through the park and his brother and the, uh, the, um, the person that tried to sell him drugs was actually sitting there in, on a bench. It might have been even this one, who knows? And then they had an altercation. So Edmund had an altercation with the, with the drug dealer. Um, and during this altercation, him and his brother were attacked by a group of males. So the drug dealer wasn't alone. He was with a few different people, with his gang. Um, and yeah, and him and his brother, Edmund and his brother were attacked. Um, Edmund was, had 19 separate injuries. But the one that killed him, the one that proved fatal, was a stab wound to um, the heart. And his brother, Araudi, suffered a massive and serious head injury. But he managed to present at a hospital during this whole time. And um, But he de deteriorated at the hospital. And as far as I know, I think he's still alive, but he almost died. Um, Araudi then later testified in court that the argument started because when they got into the park, the person that tried to sell them drugs said that he would had threatened them with a knife or threatened their lives with a knife. Um, and that, that's why the altercation started. The guys that were convicted of the guy that was convicted of the murder is a guy called Bilal Mumin. Um, got a lengthy sentence. And um, another person was Said Omar Mohammed. He was found guilty of possession of an offensive weapon. So I think he had the knife and Bilal probably used it. Um, and he was convicted of violent disorder as well. There was a few other guys, um, you can search up on the news article, I'm gonna link it anyway, um, that were convicted as well of the same sort of violent disorder charge. Um, yeah, so this was literally in this park right now. Look at these little utes making, making noises. But yeah. So we're gonna to go to the next spot now. Um, next spot is part of the namesake of this channel. So it's a block, it's an estate um, on West Green Road called the Milton Road Estate. We're gonna go check it out. It's known to be one of the main sort of estates that TP are from on and chill on. So yeah, come with me. We're gonna go check it out. All right, location two. We're on Milton Road N15. And this is the Milton Road Estate. So first off, you've got a block of flats here called Barker House. Take a look at it. But yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one, this one. Um, it's not one sort of block that dominates the whole estate. Like in, in AG, for example, with Lullworth House. But it's like loads of different buildings on the estate. It's really quiet. I've, take, I've taken a walk around already. I've not seen many people at all. But yeah, Barker House here. 
funnily enough this is supposed to be a really bad estate but they get really quiet and some of these houses aren't too too bad yeah so we take a, a swift walk down this road down Milton Road and we just have a little look at the, the estate we're gonna go walk down some of the alleyways because I'm sure the, the TPL guys have walked these alleyways before so kind of walking in their footsteps to see where they've grown up and and you know the area that they're from so yeah I mean in the comments you guys can educate me I'm not too sure which part of the T which set from TP actually lives here or is from here or which members are from here if it's BM Mini or Sava from OTP or H and the guys from the N8 side I'm not too too sure um, so maybe you can educate me but yeah let's walk down one of these alleyways so I can show you sort of what the estate looks like there's a road Milton Road so Milton Road just runs all the way down this way Duckett's Common is literally back over there where I showed you the road sign, so it's not, it's literally around the corner from Turnpike Lane Station. Milton Road runs down this way and runs around to the right. It's sort of a disjointed estate because you've got this, this side which sort of looks completely different to what I'm going to show you in a second now. If we walk down this alleyway. Yeah, loads of little alleyways to run down and hide and run from the police or run from wherever you want to run from. Would have been sick to play sort of like run outs here when you were a kid. Or like hide and seek and that. Because there's literally, it's a huge estate. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. You've got this little kids play park over there. But we're going to walk around this way. This looks like a little community centre. Someone tell me if I'm correct or not. Looks like this one might be the Milton Road Estate Community Centre. Or events and all where they do their thing. Let's see what it says. Is it a church? Not a Haringey Council. Yeah, it looks like a little council building or a, they do little clubs and classes here as you can see. So it's must be a little community centre or community event space. But yeah. Loads of different buildings. Look, look. I mean, like, look at this block of flats. It's probably the smallest block of flats I've ever seen in my life. The shortest. Again, another alleyway. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. We've got a gazebo here, and I'm I'm not sure exactly what that is. To be honest, we'll take a look in a sec. And you've got this little sort of, it's not really a park, it's like a little square in the middle of of the other half of the estate. Right there. Just gonna show you. It's the zebra thing. Yeah. The main road again over there. Let's see what this signboard says. Just let know what this is from Haringey Council. Homes for Haringey. But yeah, you've got this little square here. Car parks all over the place. Houses here. Again, like I said, it's a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. It's a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be on this side as well, to be honest. These houses look pretty nice little driveways and everything so it's not really a I mean this obviously looks a lot newer than, than the other side and, and those buildings over there for example but it's not that bad and then a little another little alleyway with a car park at the end over there which we'll take a walk down so I can just show you as much as I can and then we'll go off to the location 
of the next murder. And this one was of... So I've done my research of, on the next murder and he was definitely a civilian. Some people say he had links to, to the TP guys. And I think the murder was actually claimed by OFB or, or it was linked to OFB, so the farm boys. But apparently he was a civilian and his name was Anas. Young boy, young, and we'll, we'll talk about his murder. But yeah, let's go on to the next location. Oh, it's nice to, I love this little park. I'm not going to lie, you've got benches in the middle as well. It'd be nice to just chill there on a summer's day. Have a barbecue there. I don't know if you can see the benches over there. It's locked right now, but I tried opening it earlier. It's a bit locked, but, well, it is locked, but yeah. That'd be nice to, in the summertime, to have a little barbecue there, chill with the friends, family. But okay, yeah, next location. I'm going to go over to location of the next murder. It's on West Green Road, so literally around the corner. Take a quick pop, and um, I'll see you guys there. All right, location three, um, West Green Road. As you can see, that's West Green Social Club. It's quite a long road. Loads of shops and stuff all, around, all down it. Chicken shops, etc., etc. Et a few places. Um, and I'm assuming this is West Green. I might be wrong. Oh no, this is Stanley Chorus Open Space. West Green Road Gate. So you got a little park here. Basketball courts, football courts over there in the distance. Little kids playground. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd walk around here and tell you about the next murder because I know in the last few episodes you guys told me to find shrines to, to some of the last victims I talked about, but um, and I didn't. I couldn't actually find one, and I couldn't actually find one this time for Anas. Um, so I might have missed it if I have. I'm sorry. You guys let me know where it is. Um, so yeah, Anas Mezina, 17 year old, was murdered on the 19th of January 2021. He was killed on West Green Road there. Um, he got into an altercation and it was over a stolen phone or a lost phone. So one of his friends had had, had their phone stolen or, or lost or taken by someone or something. And they were trying to resolve an argument and get the phone back. Um, Little did he know the person that that they were arguing with had a knife. Uh, apparently it was quite a large knife. Um, and the, they all had knives, sorry, it was a group of people. This is a, also another estate here. So it's likely that the TP guys might have lived here. But yeah, so he was... Him and his friends all scattered and he was actually stabbed in the buttock or in the bum. Um, it's not even funny really stabbed in the bum um, people found him they, they attempted CPR but he had collapsed paramedics came and performed CPR but unfortunately he died and I'm guessing he died because in the human body you've got large arteries that run up the legs and I think some of them actually run up the run in the bum as well so I think he probably was stabbed in one of those arteries so he bled out or veins and he bled out Um, and uh, he was taken to Royal London Hospital and unfortunately he didn't make it um, I know that several members or it's been stated that several that, that OFB were the were the people that did the murder I haven't seen anything confirming it yet or or anything um, but I know that OFB have claimed it but apparently he was a civilian and as you know, he was just in the wrong place in the wrong time, arguing with the wrong person about a phone. And it's sad, really, if you think about it. People are, kids are killing each other over phones, over, you know, 20 pound bags of weed and and things like that. So it's sad how sort of now in this life, 2021, we just don't value life anymore. The youth don't value life. They have no respect for it. All they want to do is score points on the ops shot food and get girls and and there's so much more to life than that he's only 17 and you know he won't be able to do everything that his parents might have thought that he might he would do in his life drive a car get married have kids etc um, apparently he was studying and wanted to study as well in, in further education but unfortunately he wasn't given the, that opportunity um so yeah the teenagers that did it four teenagers pleaded not guilty to his murder 
um, and I believe currently it's an ongoing case so it's still going through the courts but yeah that's location to, that's the murder location too um, let's go on to next location three all right we're at the final location guys it's raining a little bit but that's London weather for you had a beautiful day and it starts raining but we're on West Green Road again literally around the corner from where I spoke about Anas's murder, Anas's murder's location is just up there and uh, as you can see we're in front of William Hill and that is a uh, cash converters so we're going to talk about the final murder now um, the murder of Tyreek Watson, 21 years old uh, he was killed on the 22nd of February this year and he was killed literally around here um, and I managed to find a shrine so this seems to be the shrine for Tyreek. I think it was Jamaican. Um, it says there, as you can see, it says there, Frank's world. Got a little shrine to him here. Rest in peace to him and, and everyone that, that I've spoken about today, Edmund and Anas. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to talk about his murder really quickly. Um, so, supposedly he came out of that cash converters there and he was chased randomly by what witnesses described as a really short person, a really short man, um, but probably a teenager as well, actually. Uh, Tyreek ran around the car a few times, for example, any car here, um, but the guy chased him, and he was stabbed multiple times, and unfortunately passed away at the young age of 21. So yeah, I mean, that's the end of the episode. I mean, it's been a bit of a really short one because we've just been, well, I've not really found any mur confirmed murders linked to TPL or, or a member of them that's been, that's been murdered. It's just been down this off and finish it off, finish off the episode because it's a bit loud here. So we're on St. Margaret's Road, it's in the news. We're on the corner of this road. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a rapid episode, as, as I said not found too many murders that were confirmed against here. TP, I wanted any of their members or, or attacks that happened against them. But if I've missed anything, please do let me know in the comments. I know you guys have been supporting and I've had a bunch of new subscribers now. So I just want to say thank you to everyone. Everyone who's subscribing, welcome. Um, stick with me, you're going to see as much of London as I can show you. And we're going to talk about some dark shit, unfortunately, or, as, or fortunately. We're going to talk about daily gang life in London. Been doing more gangs, I've got a load of requests to get through. Um, stick with me, we'll be seeing, as I said, more in London. And finally, just RIP again to everyone that, that was murdered, or, and condolences to everyone affected by any of these murders. Again, it's a senseless loss of life. Especially when you're living in an area where houses look like this. You know, Anas could have owned one of these houses, Tyreek could have owned one of these houses, and... Edmund was a grown man, you know, who had moved over from Albania to, to have a new life and look after his family. So again, like, I, I, in my opinion, everyone should put down the knives and stop this nonsense, gangs, scoring points. But you know, I'm one guy with one, one opinion. What do I know? But yeah, end of the episode, guide, guys. Um, thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you on our next episode. Peace. Don't lack in traffic like fool, or you can get shot on your block like death. These guys get way too lucky, some are they're always escaping death.